For Bill Baroni, it's been like a Shakespearean tragedy. Once Governor Chris Christie's main guy at the Port Authority, now on trial with Bridget Kelly, Christie's former aide, for helping shut down the local access lanes to the George Washington Bridge to punish Fortley's mayor for not endorsing Christie in his reelection bid. What did Mr. Christie know, Mr. Wildstein? This man, David Wildstein, now the government's key witness, taking the stand, saying he stressed one thing when he worked with Baroni at the Port Authority the one constituent rule. That meant, he says, the only person he needed to make happy was Governor Christie. Everything used as a tool for the constituency of one. It's very depressing. Wildstein has said Governor Christie knew about the lane closures as they were happening. The governor has denied any involvement, but Wildstein says his role at the Port Authority to be the bad cop because Baroni couldn't do that and to find ways to get Democratic elected officials to endorse Christie in his reelection bid. He did that, he says, by providing tours of the World Trade Center, handing out flags that flew over Ground Zero and grants to towns. I viewed Miss Kelly as my boss, he told jurors. She was a senior official in the governor's office. Did he answer to Bridget Absolutely Kelly? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. The man did not answer to Bridget Kelly, and we'll establish that without a doubt once we cross-examine him. But the defense says Wildstein's a liar, not the nice guy he appeared to be on the stand. Uh, just very short and sweet. Um, it's been a great first week for Bill. The New Jersey State Assembly has discussed drawing articles of impeachment against Christie, but Democrats say it's a waste of time because Christie will be out of office soon. Again, he has vehemently denied any involvement in the lane closures. In Newark, Christine Sloan, CBS2 News. A spokesperson for Governor Christie calls the mention of impeachment ridiculous.